Sometimes we need reminders of where we came from, of what our accomplishments have been, of how we got started. This can be the ultimate source of inspiration. Writing has always been my passion. The thrill of knowing that what you're doing is exactly what you were meant to do. There's nothing like that feeling. So this is where Marty and I would write. We would come out here. We're not even beach people. That's the funny part. We don't even like the beach. Just We don't like the sand, to be fair. But we, we came out here because it was so beautiful. And if you'll notice, most of this beach is rocks and caves and less sand. I got to say, I wrote a lot of screenplays on this beach. <laughs> Sometimes the path isn't a straight one, but that's what makes the journey so interesting and ultimately leads to experiences you end up using in your writing. Funny story, Marty and I used to do script coverage for this little agency that made a deal with us. He said, you can pretend to be an agent at my company if you do free script coverage for me. So we did it and Marnie would call up I can't remember what name she used, but she made up some name and said that she was with this agency. I don't want to say who. Uh, <laughs> and we ended up getting like all, she was amazing by the way. She should be a manager or agent herself, I'm telling you, because pretty much everybody she called, we'd call Paramount, Universal, Imagine, Castle Rock. Every single company wanted to read all the scripts. So that was how we kind of got our start was through completely lying and doing script coverage on this beach. Take in what's around you. Pay attention to every detail, from the waves of the ocean to the peacefulness of the trees. It's all a part of why writers write, to share what we see, what we feel, who we are. This is Huntington Library. My friend Carrie and I used to write here all the time. We used to come to this exact spot and we'd put down a blanket and we'd write for hours. And I remember her actually using this exact location in one of her books, calling it the eye of the storm, which is what it, it does feel like when you're here because it's just this giant circle of grass surrounded by trees. It's one of my favorite places in Los Angeles. I want to be in that world sometimes worlds of books by authors that I love. It's why I started writing, to create my own universes and characters that feel as real to me as if they truly exist. It's why I used to write at Disneyland with my friend Brittany, complete immersion into Disneyverse, and to sit and watch all the happy people around me experiencing the same love for storytelling always gave me inspiration. And sometimes you just find inspiration in a cup of coffee with friends. So this is the Atwater Village Starbucks. And I wrote Riser here entirely. I wrote it with my friend Corey and my friend Carrie. It was really nice because Carrie and I were neighbors back then. And what's funny is Carrie actually looks a lot like the singer Alanis Morissette. And so they knew us so well in here because we came in every single day that instead of putting Carrie on the mug, they'd always put Atlantis. <laughs> to be in the fresh air and perfect weather of Los Angeles, listening to the trees and birds and just create or even read someone else's creation is heaven. I love to journey to other places and times. I love adventure, real or imagined. And this is where Marnie and I would come to write screenplays at the Griffith Observatory up the trail to this little Berlin forest, as they call it. And we would sit on the bench over there and we would look up at the Hollywood sign and it would just give us inspiration. Enjoy each moment as it comes. This very moment, this very life. Do what you're passionate about and never settle for anything less. Life's too short not to.